Well, here we are at Pride 2022, and we thought we'd just give you the colour, the highlights of the beginning of events here today, because it's going on until midnight tonight. So let's look at the promenade here, the very beginning, and a very colourful rainbow event it was too. This 50 metre long uh, flag that's come from the Channel Arms on, on loan, and at the very front of it, we've got our beautiful uh, House of Hearts which we interviewed just the other day. They had to uh, make a big appearance. They came in at the last second and they had their own float to lead off the whole brigade down the promenade on the walkway. Of course, the last time that the parade was done here last year, it had to go through Strand Street because of all the work going on on the promenade. But anyway, everyone was invited to take uh, a corner of this 50 metre flag and uh, off it goes down there, the promenade. And it's nice to see lots of people uh, cheering and waving as it came into the Villa Marina. Villa Marina is open by the way all day uh, Saturday. It feels like a real sort of party going here. And uh, the flag was brought to the front and uh, everyone's introduced. And these uh, messages were put up. Everyone had these banners to say it didn't part of the whole experience about being gay over the years. And then the bit that we really want to stop and show you now was a special message that came via Joe Locke, who couldn't be here, and I know he really wanted to be here, but this is his message. It's quite powerful that he gave out to the crowd here today. Everybody, please welcome Joe Locke. I to be there with you all today, but I just wanted to send a little message to say how proud I am of our island and how happy it makes me to see the island celebrating its queer population. Finally. Pride is a celebration of being unapologetically yourself. It's a time for all people to let their hair down and not care what someone on Strand Street thinks of your outfit. It's a celebration of everyone in society that may feel like outsiders. A day for the outsiders to become the insiders. It's a day for all queer people to know that they deserve all the love and respect that straight people get. It's a day for parents and children to be proud together. It's a day for every single person to feel loved. Having a Pride Day may seem like a small gesture to some, but for the people who don't feel comfortable in who they are, seeing a huge amount of people celebrating the part of themselves that society used to ridicule can change lives and bring out the confidence that people need to be their true selves. Pride isn't just a celebration, however. Pride started as a protest. From all around the world, brave people standing up to oppression. Brave people like our own Alan Shea, who, as you all know, protested directly to Tim Walton in 1991 against their archaic laws still making homosexuality illegal, 25 years after the UK changed their laws. He stood up for justice in a time when our own politicians within Tim Walton were openly homophobic. Alan Shea and so many other Manx LGBTQ people had to live in a society where the majority of their politicians did not want to recognise their existence. A quick read of Tim Walton Hansard from the early 1990s exposes the rife homophobia within Timwald, with only Hazel Hannon and Alan Bell bravely fighting for LGBTQ rights in a room otherwise filled with bigots. One thing said by one of the bigots, Mrs Delaney, was right though. She said, and I quote, what they want, and they do not hide this, is for homosexuality to be treated just the same as heterosexuality. They want it to be taught in the schools. They want it to be recognized in the form of homosexual marriages. This is their aim. And I'd say, yes, Mrs. Delaney, that was our aim. And that's what we got. <laughs> the island has come so far in the last 30 years, legalizing same-sex marriage in 2016, and in 2021, banning conversion therapy for all LGBT people, something the UK government has failed and is failing to do. But there is still work to be done. The Isle of Man to this day does not allow gay men to donate blood, an archaic rule that was placed into force during the height of the AIDS pandemic. These rules have slowly changed in the UK since then, allowing gay men to donate blood under certain rules, but not on the island. In 2014, a consultation into changing the rules was launched, with the outcome being that the policy was under review. This was six years ago, and nothing has changed. I call upon the Manx government and our politicians within Timwald to change this archaic law and bring the island one step closer on its journey to acceptance. Enough of the politics. Pride should be a big party. So, go out there, sing Lady Gaga on the prom at 1am and drink loads of cocktails. I wish I was there with you all. Happy Pride! 
So that's uh, Joe Locke, and uh, no doubt he will be here in person, hopefully one day, when he's not busy being a fantastic international star on Netflix, Heartstoppers, which is coming back for season two and three already. So uh, the event goes on here today, and uh, it can only get better and bigger, I guess, each year. And uh, what a fantastic weather they have for Pride 2022. Thank you.